morning, everyone. This is Kayla here, and I'm your workshop facilitator today. And beside me is Francis, who is our Sound Blaster X3 expert. So you can you. also call him Mr. Sound Blaster. Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay. Good morning, everybody. Yay! Uh, it's a Saturday morning. Yes. Uh, it rained this morning. Yes. Right. Um, rightfully, everyone should be doing something. Yeah. Hope you have a good okay. rest. Yeah. But so today we are here hmm. to you know go through the Sound Blaster X3 workshop. So we hope uh, we'll help you with some uh, additional information uh, that you can bring away. You know, at the end of the uh, show here. Yes. And stay tuned. Uh, there will be some goodies. Yes. The end, right? Okay. Yes. We'll do that for the end. Yes. Okay, so actually, um, you know, while we're waiting for more people to join, right, let me share with you a story, okay? So actually, a few weeks ago, I was speaking to a colleague. Mm -hmm. She actually mentioned that one of our customer who had bought the X3 with us, right, actually told her he or she does not know how to use the X3 Sound Blaster after okay. he had purchased uh, for, for three, three months. Wow. Yeah. And how did he survive for so long? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're like him or her, I guess that's why, that's the reason why today yeah, we want you to join here. us. Yes. Right. And we want to share with you how can you fully utilize our X3 Sound Blaster card that you are, your sound card that you purchased with us. All right. So, okay, maybe just, uh, we, are, we are still waiting for more people to join. We are very happy that, you know, now we have about 17 of you joining us. Very, very happy. Oh, cool. We'd like to welcome you here. Okay, so um, just a short introduction of, about Creative, okay? Yep, so sure. I, I believe you know us. So Creative is actually a homegrown Singapore brand known for our Sound Blaster. So we are happy that you have purchased our Sound Blaster X3 sound card with us. Okay, so now we have expanded to offer a range of quality um, audio solution from speaker to headphone to meet all your needs. Okay, no matter you're on the go, we have our true wireless headphone. Right, you know, recently we have just released our uh, I latest. Love that. I use that, to, uh, you know, Where throughout you my journey, way. you know, yeah. on, the, on my journey to office, you know, to meet my friends. Yes. It's very convenient. And especially today, every, every now and then we have to wear our mask, right? Yes, yes. So the true wireless really helps a lot. It will not you know? tangle la, with your yeah. mask, you know, it, it's like hassle free. Yeah, so we have uh, um, like our true wireless earphone here as well. And if you're working from home, we also have our um, desktop. Uh, sound bar or speaker right. okay so we are always here to uh, provide you uh, the best uh, audio products to you okay uh, in other words uh, anything that is audio uh, find if us. you <laughs> ask for it we should have it yes right okay. just visit our credit.com website you know for more information on the products that you're interested in yes right? Yes. So, okay, uh, let us just give you a short brief. In the next one hour, we will be going through some basic setup and function of X3 itself, our uh, sound card, and also how can you customize your EQ mode. A lot of you want to know that from our survey. We know that you want to know that. We'll be going through with you later. And also um, some in-depth understanding of Sound Blaster command software. Okay, and keep your questions till the end because there'll be a QA and a session. So um, just uh, keep all your questions for, for till the end, okay? And stay with us. We'll be yes. sharing more with you. All right. Okay. So as we go along, yeah. uh, you know, we'll provide you some tips here and there. Yes. You know, on how to operate the product itself and also the software. Yeah, so if you have any question, just ask Mr. Sound Blaster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we can actually get going. Right. Yes, okay, because it's actually 10.08. So the first thing that we'll be going through will be the introduction of X3, which is the basic setup of uh, X3 itself. We would like to show um, the, the X3 product sure. on the screen now, right? Okay. So I'll let Francis to go through with you guys. Thank you, Kelly. Yes. Okay, so I have uh, X3 connected to my computer now here, all right? And uh, this is how it looks like. For those of you who already purchased it, you're probably already using it by now. All right. So what I'm going to do next is to give you more additional information on how to operate some of the special and uh, important features. All right. So I'll just do a quick rundown of uh, some of the control buttons here. All right. Uh, right at the front, there's a big dial here, right? That let you control from volume to mic to even audio balance, mm. you know? and there's a ring here that changes color according to the status. Ah, right? so there's, there's more than one color. Yes. Ah. Okay. Blue is cool, so we leave it for the default, mm. so that mm. everyone can, can enjoy that cool blue color. Yes. Right? Okay, over here we have three control buttons, the mic control button, the mode button, and the sex button, mm. the super X-Y button. 
right? All these three buttons also double up as a secondary control for some of the functions. Like for example, the mic button double up as the audio balance control. The mode button double up as a direct mode control, right? Direct mode is something that uh, provide you with better uh, audio quality with a minimum processing, in fact, no processing at all, right? And then the super excite button double up as a switch to your between your headphone and the speaker output, right? So all you need to do is to press and hold to trigger it, right? So at the front, you have your microphone input, you have your headphone input, right? I think this is quite uh, straightforward, okay? At the back here, there's a row of connectors ranging from the front connectors for the speaker, the side, the rear, the center, and the sub-channel, okay? Uh, bear in mind that the uh, Sound Blaster X3 is actually a 7.1 USB DAC, right? And then we have a line-in connector and the optical output connector where you can output the uh, audio to uh, an AV receiver or a speaker system. Oh, a speaker system. Yes. Okay. okay, so that's the basic setup yeah. of the X3 Sound Blaster, right? The Correct. sound card. Yeah, so actually, um, we will move forward to the basic function of X3. So here's right. just a quick refresher course for you. Okay, the first feature that, uh, the first basic function that we're talking about will be the audio balance feature. Because a lot of you per the survey that we received from, right? Thank you for filling up the survey for us. A lot of you do not know about this function. So we want to, we're very excited to share with you this right. function to them, Correct. audio balance function. Yeah, so I'll let Francis to show you. Okay. Go. Now, um, before I start the uh, showing of the uh, setting up, right? Yes. Uh, I just want to do a simple explanation on how this uh, audio balance function works, right? So basically, uh, it works on two different sources of uh, audio playback, right? For example, uh, in let's say a conference like this, right? You can actually select to have. Uh, the rest of the audio coming through to one uh, endpoint. Mm. <clears throat> okay, in, in Windows, we call it endpoint, right? So we can have another application that say play a music file to another endpoint. Okay. Right? So the concept of audio functions is such that while these two endpoints are playing uh, the audio stream, we can actually have some control to attenuate mm. the two different sources. Okay. Right. So by doing that, we can actually control the volume of one source versus the other mm. in, in ratio, right? So in other words, you're, you'll be hearing one source softer, the other one louder. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'll just do a quick uh, setup here. Let me yeah. share my screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to share with you how can you uh, do it on the uh, the software, right? Yes. Like how, what, what can you do to actually enable and activate the audio balance feature. All right, so uh, we'll be sharing our screen with you. Just give us a moment, okay? Okay, and now let me just try to share this screen. Uh, I'll just minimize this. Yes. Right, okay, the first thing that you need to set is come to the speaker icon here, all right? Set your output to a speed if out. Okay. Uh, plus the X3. Mm. Right. Remember, we are having That's the two endpoints. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the speed speed if out becomes the first uh, endpoint. Yes. Right. Once you set that, whatever audio that you play from your computer will will be directed to the endpoint. Mm. Right. And then second thing, uh, let's launch an app. In this case, I'm using a Fubar 2000. It's a popular uh, media player software. Come to Reference, select output, and then select speaker, right, X3. So that's the second endpoint yeah. that so you have to set. Now you define the two endpoints mm, already, right, yes. on two different uh, configuration. Mm. The player goes to the speaker, the uh, system will go to the speedy, right? So yes. what we can do is, for example, I open a YouTube, uh, yes. you know, video conference. You know. Good. Okay, somebody is doing the talking, right? And then uh, I can actually play the music at the same time. It's going forward. All right. So where are we? Let's just kind of literally reset the map. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Basically, we can... where we are. Okay. And because this is a so, history class and not an American history class, 
and we got to so move decently okay. in the next five weeks. Okay, because of the setup uh, restriction, uh, we are unable to do a live demo of the so-called uh, audio balance mm. okay, mm. because there are a lot of uh, audio routing that needs to configure and uh, yes uh, i think we can share with them later yeah That's but what i'm going to yeah. show you is the interface on how mm. to control this attenuation okay uh, so let me just uh, minimize it okay. okay we have separated ourselves from great Britain. Am I sharing something now yes so you are sharing the desktop screen, screen. okay and uh, that is how do I open this? Thing? No matter what you think about it, okay, about America, and it just let's get out of that for a minute. That's okay. really, really, really inspirational to a lot of countries around the world. Oh, that you want to share your screen? Yeah, okay. Is it? Yes, you want to share your screen? Uh, never mind. Our national anthem. Yeah, okay, it, there's two can, audios um, going on now, right? As you can hear. Let me try stop my video sense. again. Um, okay. I'll so, try to share again. Yes. So let Francis share with you the, the screen again. Okay. So he want to share with you how can you uh, configure a certain uh, feature to, to actually use the audio balance function on X3. Okay. X3, I shouldn't be showing the video. Yeah. Let me just stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. So the video is. Uh, on my screen now all right so what you need to do is while the two audio songs are playing press and hold the mic control button right so remember just now i mentioned the uh, led here will change color when yes. the status oh, changes just now it was blue now it was it's blue, green right so okay. green indicating that we are actually in the audio balance control mode now i see right? and okay. once we're in that mode we can actually rotate the uh, dial mm. clockwise and anti-clockwise mm. to end it, attenuate the uh, two different uh, audio Soft. sources. Yes. All right. uh, you guys will probably won't be able to hear the effect from here okay, because of uh, setup restriction, but give it a try at your home, mm. uh, you know, on your X3. By doing this, you should be able to hear uh, the two different sources being attenuated, you know, one high and one low, mm. right? And then the other. Uh, you know, uh, you'll hear the reverse uh, effect when you turn the other way around. I understand. Yeah. Okay. I think and it'll be applicable when you know, you're in a conference correct. call, right? In fact, yeah. um, I use this quite often. Okay. I, oh, I call okay. it the don't let the boss know feature <laughs> because uh, while you're in the, uh, you know, conferencing, yes. uh, you know, you have a lot of people uh, contributing to the conversation. Yes. And, uh, you know, certain subjects may not of interest to you, mm. right? And yes. then, but then at the same time, you, you also cannot afford to say, hey, I, I do not want to listen and then take out the mic and, and all that, yes. you know? So what I do is I actually play my favorite music. Uh, mm. Okay. What's your favorite from, music? Is it Aha, this? <laughs> this is one of them, Nicholas Gunn. Ah. Okay. It's an old man's uh, music, but I think it's soothing for me. Yes, yes, yes. Right? So, this is what I do. Mm. You know? So, at the same time, I can still listen to my uh, the conversation. So, if there's an input needed from my side, you know, I'll just attenuate the music and then increase the, the mic volume and yes. then I can start talking. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, this is some very important uh, usage that we can do. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a very good, uh, interesting thing. And we will be showing you more of the Sound Blaster command software uh, later in a while. So we will be talking more on the next thing. So give, give us a moment. I'll be showing you more things here. So we will be sharing more things with you. Okay, so actually the next, uh, the next function that we want to talk to you about is the Super X5 function because it, yeah. it's actually on the, the hardware itself, right? There's right. a button for it. Can, Francis, can you share with us what is Super X5 about? Okay. Mm. Okay. So, uh, Super X5 is actually a technology that the uh, creative have developed uh, with uh, many, many, many years of uh, effort uh, in research. Yeah. You know, and okay. uh, it took us a, a quite a long distance to come to where we are today. Mm. Right. So, uh, let me just try to put an analogy to that because, uh, you know, a lot of time when we listen to a pair of uh, earphone. All we listen to are actually the left and the, and the right, right channel. 
the stereo right. sound. Yes, okay. the psychoacoustic of your mind will actually try to tell you that hey, it's somewhere you know right in front of you or, or somewhere on top of you, depending yes. on the audio signature of the headphone. Right, it doesn't give you the full experience of a multi-channel speaker systems. Right. Yes. So Super X5 is the technology that applies uh, AI algorithm processing. You know to take a stereo uh, signal. Okay, in some extent, uh, you can actually process a seven dot one audio signal. All right, and then uh, apply the AI algorithm and then mimic the seven, uh, not just seven dot one, but a multi-channel kind of speaker, speaker. environment. Yes. Right on your headphone. Wow, that's right. very cool. Eh? So like, yeah, so what you hear from the head yeah. headphone is not uh, something just you know, right at the front mm. of your head, you know, but actually a very expanded kind of uh, uh, so, audio enjoyment. You know? Yeah, as if, I think it will be easier if you say, right, if you are listening to music, live concert or watching a movie, yes. you will feel as if you are, you are there. Because yes. it's as if there's a stereo speaker around exactly. you, right? So yes. I think that's very good. Okay. Okay. But we have we are showing you this screen now. Okay. Uh, there's a QR code on the right side of the screen. You if you have not downloaded your uh, Super X5 uh, mobile application, you can click, uh, actually scan it now, and you can download it on the spot. It's either on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Okay. So we are encouraging you to actually download it if you have not used our Super X5 function because since you already purchased X3 itself, right? So download it and you can actually. Um, do the mm. own your own personalized personalized uh, super X5 profile. Can you yes. share? Can you can Mr. Sun Blaster share with our <laughs> attendees here this morning, right? How to actually personalize their super X5 profiling? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um for Super X5 to work, yeah. Uh for number one, it requires individual uh information of your personal uh, so-called facial feature, mm, mm. your ear uh, structure, yes. construction structure, okay, because it's a very personalized kind of experience. All right. So what it does is that it requires us to actually do a capture of your ear structure, both your left and the right, and the front facial structure because your bone structure also different. Yes. Right. So that's basically how uh, it does. Okay, there's the app that uh, works on a mobile phone, you know, all you need to do is like what you show on the screen here, take three pictures. The, okay, your the left, left, center, and the right. The speaker. right ear. And, and, yeah. All right. And then once captured, uh, it will be saved into the crowd. Okay. Of course, you, you have to log in using our creative.com account, you know, the your, your whatever capture that is... Uh... Yeah, so... After you capture on your left and the right and your front, right, they will actually personalize your profile, right? right? And because everybody feature is different, so it will be good if you can, you know, download the app itself and right. then uh, do your own profile, okay? Then when you activate with, with X3 itself, right, then they will customize their own profile and you can play music or even gaming to your own uh, personal Super X5 profiling. Exactly. Yes. So uh, once you capture, because the setting will be saved into your... Yeah on a uh, account mm. okay, which means you can actually download this account to the software uh, that we saw just now sp command let me try to uh, yes you want to share your yeah screen? let me try to share okay. my screen here let us do the sharing okay you can proceed to share your screen i think yep. it will show directly Now, this is where you turn on and off the Super X5, okay, and as you mentioned, uh, there is this, uh, wait, I think there's some feedback going on, right? I mute, I mute. Yeah. yeah, so... Okay. <laughs> Uh, there are just a lot of audio path uh, going around, you know, so sometimes uh, even we ourselves are a bit confused. But anyway, let's carry on. Yes. Uh, this is where the, your account is. Okay, in this case, I'm using a, my own personal account. And this is actually uh, some of the uh, 
so called profile that has captured mm. earlier on. Okay, and Even all you need to do, okay. yes, it actually gives you a date of and time of when uh, your profile was being captured. All right, so I will select my latest profile, and then actually I can select a different uh, oh, a lot of, suites of headphone yes. profiles here. There's a okay. lot of uh, headphones being uh, under in this uh, options here. Correct. In fact, we have quite a lot of uh, brands here, you know, other than our creative brands. Mm. We have uh, popular brands like AKG, even Apple, Audio Technica, you know, you name it. Okay, all the major brands in headphones, yeah. we have it. All right. So you uh, you can actually activate the Super X5 uh, function even right. though you are using other brands' headphones. Correct. Okay. okay, and it's also our commitment to continuously mm. uh, adding new models to yes. it, you know. So uh, if you find your model not uh, included here, uh, one way is you can choose one that is close to the same model. Yeah, yeah so okay, I yeah. guess. I understand that, you know, that's how Super X5 works. Yeah. Okay, so I think we will be going to the next one. The next uh, thing that we want to share with you is the three preset EQ setting on uh, yeah. X3 itself and how can you customize the uh, EQ mode? Because uh, in our survey, right, we know that a lot of you uh, are actually curious how can you customize your EQ mode. So I'll let Mr. Stop yeah. start here, Francis, to share <laughs> with you how okay. can you do that, okay? <laughs> so uh, I think we are still on the screen here, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so next here you see the uh, equalizer settings all right okay so this is the page where mm. user can actually customize the different eq settings for their devices all right so the x3 come with three default settings yes. that means uh, the, there the are three, three default settings being saved into yes. the device here already okay right. what so, are they uh, like the three yeah. preset settings okay so uh, there are three modes, mode one, mode two, and mode three. Mm. Okay. Uh, mode one is actually movie. I just changed it to RPG just now okay. uh, for some testing. All right. Mode two is a uh, music, music and mode three is a uh, footstep. footstep enhancer. Ah. All right. So what you can do is um, you can actually cycle between these three, select, you know, and you'll notice that, uh, let me turn on my video here. Anyway. You can just click here and start video uh, yeah okay you'll see that when when i change the mode the led changes all right oh, it might be too far away but that, that that's the idea yeah okay so oh, you just toggle to, uh, yeah. on the button itself right. ah, okay. so that's the basic thing for most people mm, right yes uh, the three basic yeah. uh, eq modes okay. okay but if you are not uh satisfied with the default setting we actually provide the equalizer to let you customize it according to what you really like mm. all right so the chart here actually allows you to adjust the individual uh, frequencies okay you can select how much you want to gain on or, or reduce you know at every frequency range here oh, right yeah so this is how you can think correct yes all right and uh, these are for people who are familiar with you know tuning the mm. frequency range Okay, but for people who, let's say, you know, I don't want to go through all this hassle. You know, I just want to increase my base and my travel. You know, so That's how do I do way. that? Yeah. Yes, how do you okay. do that? So you'll see that there are two sections here, right? The base and the travel. Yes, right? I saw so it. So all you need to do is click and drag. Oh, the graph will move And then you just move for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you want to have a lower travel, you know, then you just do that. Okay. And you can even select, you know, to increase the amplification overall oh uh, amplification yeah. as in it can be become louder yes, is that right ah, okay oh, okay so this is uh the interface that allows individual to customize their setting mm. right now uh there is also a so-called hidden feature that uh, not many people are aware of so right. our mr sound blaster here is to show okay, you so this is tip number hidden. one yes okay. let's hear the tips <laughs> yeah you see the chart here right yeah oh, and the uh, there's a there's a so-called editing uh, pen there's a over pencil, there right? yeah so for icon. people who who 
are very familiar with uh, adjusting the frequency range. You know, they, they already have a so-called predetermined curve you know, in their mind, mm. right? And they do not want to, let's say, you know, go through every of the frequency range to adjust individual mm. setting. Yes. All I need to do is to draw it. Wow, it will also form a natural yes. graph by okay. itself. It may not be exactly very accurate, mm -hmm. but it gives you something to start. And you don't need to keep adjusting for every point. Uh, right. So you can okay. just make some adjustment after you draw yes. the graph. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you, if you want to have some fun, you can even do things like this, you know, and you can even draw it backward. Oh. Right. Okay. So that's how you can customize yes. your EQ mode. Uh, okay. So all these are actually uh, feedback that we have received through our user mm -hmm. over the years, mm. you know. Yeah, and we implemented some of these uh, very useful feedback, you know, to make the whole experience better for our user here. Yeah. So keep the feedback coming. All right. Yes, yeah. and we are always trying our best to provide you uh, better uh, audio products to, to everyone right. here. Yes. Okay, so the other thing is that uh, what do you do after tuning? Yeah, you know? if I do not like this graph that I just draw, what, what can I do? Like, yeah. I want the original mode that I was yeah. using just now. Because just now I'm using R RPG mode to, yeah. to adjust, right? I don't want to, to, you know, mess up with this mode. So all I need to do is to click revert. Ah, okay. So yeah. you can just revert immediately. Yes. See, So you go back to the original settings, mm. all right? Mm -hmm. oh, and the other option is you know, if you feel that you want to save these settings, click the plus, you know, add new. And then you will just save the graph that you just draw. My RPG settings. Okay. Okay. I want to set a current job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So different people have different application of yes. uh, equalizer. Mm. You know, you can use it to uh, fine tune your enjoyment in terms of uh, watching a movie, Korean drama, mm. or a horror movie. Okay. You know? <laughs> so you can actually change them and save them. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. okay. That's a lot. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Sal Blaster Francis has shared a lot about how yep. can you customize your EQ mode, okay, which is a very good uh, understanding for everybody. Okay, so now we will move on to actually more in-depth understanding of our Sound Blaster command software, which is a very important software that you, I believe most of you have downloaded, okay, but just that we want to teach you how um, the various functions that you can explore on so that you can fully mm. unleash mm. the X3 uh, Sound Blaster sound card that you have purchased with us. The first thing that we'll be talking about will be the SBX profile. Right. Okay. Okay, SBX profile, or okay, before I start, uh, let me just uh, have a word. Mm. you know, with, with you guys that, uh, as I mentioned just now, you know, we, we receive a lot of feedback from you guys, you know, some very critical, some very friendly and some very professional. <laughs> okay. And we try to, uh, you know, uh, reconcile all this feedback and then try to implement it into our new software. Mm. Right. So the Sound Blaster command software is actually a, a new software that we uh, begin to use uh, for our new range of products uh, starting maybe two years ago. Mm. All right. Okay. So, if you look at the UI, it is quite different from uh, what you used to see on our old Sound Blaster software, All right? Uh, example, all these uh, so-called menu system that you show that we show here are actually uh, data analytics mm. that we gotten from our old software, and we implement it here because we realized that actually these are the functions that are most used. Mm, I right. understand. So example, uh, the equalizer function, you know, although it's quite a common feature, but it is actually one of one of the most used functions on a sound blaster card, other than the SBX profile, right? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So what you see here is actually all the functions that are most frequently used, all right? And the software is also designed in such a way that you can assess any of the function within three clicks. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so maybe okay. you guys can start counting. So you guys can start counting, yes. right? <laughs> uh, hopefully, I don't click more than four times. <laughs> I haven't really gone through every, every of the single start detail, but later. you should get it within three clicks, okay, most of the time. Okay. Right? So uh, let me start with the uh, SBX profile. Yes, All right. let's so go. The SBX profile, uh, as you are aware, you know, it, it, it accompanies uh, with a lot of our products, uh, mm. especially the Sound Blaster range. Okay, 
So the X3 also comes with it and it also comes with a lot of pre-tuned profile. Mm. You know, uh, these profiles are actually pre-tuned by our in-house acoustic expert and also tuned by our in-house gaming expert. Oh, right? okay. So uh, they spend hours, you know, uh, tuning it, perfecting it. And then uh, we present it in a preset format so that the uh, majority of you guys can actually just select and start using. Yes. All right. Of course, uh, some of you may choose to uh, fine tune it from there. Uh, that's where the, these uh, controls are here. All right. So uh, just a quick run through of the list. You know, you have uh, gaming, music, movie. These are general settings. Okay. And then uh, further down the list, we have actually game specific kind of thing. Yeah. All right. Yes, um, a lot. So Actually, they call a lot of them. Very yes. nice. <laughs> yeah, and yes, even like have Overwatch. the latest like uh, yeah. PUBG, you know. Uh, yeah. A lot of games. So there are quite things. a lot of them. Yeah. Oh. And we are again committed to keep adding in uh, new games. Yes. Okay. In fact, there are very few games uh, in the pipeline that we are adding in. All right. So uh, this is also one of the reasons why we strongly recommend you always update the software to the latest because you'll get the updated profiles. Yes. All right. <clears throat> all the yeah. new research, all the new updates, right. you just have to update your uh, Sound Blaster command software, you'll get them through the software yes. itself, okay. right? And yeah. of course, uh, there'll be a lot of uh, fixes and improvement that comes mm. with it, you know? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, what you see here are actually the five controls that uh, are available for you to fine tune. Mm. I'll not go through because I probably assume that you guys already you know have uh, some interaction with it. So yes. if yeah. I'm not, it's okay. You can just play. With just it. give it a try. Yeah, on, on your try. own uh, software. Okay, don't worry to mess up the setting. I'll show you. Yes, what you how can do. You can recover later. All right. Okay. Of course, the super XI we really went through equalizer. We have really went yes. through. Okay. Uh, playback and playback recording. Playback and recording, okay. Um, okay, I'm not going to go through every of the features here, okay. So I'll just quickly touch and go some of the features and then uh, I'll focus on some of the improvement that we have. Okay. Right? So uh, playback recording basically is a page to let you select your playback uh, configuration, uh, your recording setup and all that, okay. But uh, one thing I do want to bring to your attention here is that, uh, you know, in the past, when you want to select a playback resolution, you know, you have to go to your Windows Sound property yes. page, you know, select the device, change the uh, setting, then come back here, do what you want, right? But today, we have integrated that part here. All you need to do is change, select and change. Oh, so you don't need to open up another window yes. from your laptop or desktop just to adjust the sound. Correct. You can straight away use Sound Blaster command software to adjust the sound from yes. there. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course, over here, you can uh, switch between speakers and headphone mm, output, mm. all right? Uh, and of course, select the, the other settings or the other pay, uh, payback endpoint, all right? And then uh, the recording uh, yes. is also doing the same thing, basically. Okay, allow you to control the, the gain levels, uh, whether to increase mic boost, okay? Uh, I do want to mention here, uh, this is the part where our crystal voice technology are. Ah, right. so this imagine will be good for conference call, conference, right? Yes. Uh, and recording also, yep. right? If you are doing your own um, yes. music content or your Correct. live streaming content. Uh, yeah. So imagine you have a fan blowing behind you, you know, you the, the mic <laughs> will pick up whatever noise that you have, you yeah. know, then when you try to talk, you have to raise your voice and all that. Yes, very, very distracting. Uh, yeah. the, the fan, you know, you want to save echo. <laughs> right. you, you, you work from home, you don't really on, right? So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so what you can do is just what turn on the do. noise reduction, you know. Yes. And better still, you can control how how strong oh. and how low, uh, you know, you want the strength to be. Mm. All right. And then we have the acoustic echo cancellation, basically to uh, cancel out the echoing effects. All right. Uh, smart volume to so-called normalize your vocal input so ah, that you don't sometimes sound too high, sometimes sound too low. Okay, you know. so today if I'm having a sore throat, then I want to speak softer. If I on smart volume, it yes, will also it adjust will to be of, louder. Yes, la. normalize your voice to ah, a certain level. All right. Okay. Okay, and the new addition here is actually the mic EQ. Okay, okay. Uh, this is a function that uh, not found on many other sound products. Mm. Okay, in fact, it is actually a function that is available only to certain class of uh, recording products. Okay, so what the mic EQ does is actually 
the reverse of the equalizer function. Okay, okay. equalizer function uh, help you control and, and uh, fine tune your playback, right? But the mic EQ actually allows you to fine tune your mic input. Mm, okay, yes. so in other words, if you, if you doesn't sound very nice, you know, you can help improve your vocal. My vocal okay. voice, okay. Yeah, like for example, my, my vocal is uh, normally lower, yes. a bit more bassy. More man, uh, huh? <laughs> yes, <laughs> more thank <man>. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so I can actually try to do things like, you know, uh, okay, I think the, I'm not sharing is it. Ah, okay, we're back. All right. So um, from the list here, I can actually try to reduce my bass and improve my vocal. Mm. All right. Okay. Yeah. So that will kind of uh, uh, compensate for the uh, deficiencies in terms of my, my vocal. Mm. All right. Yeah. So if today I want to change my voice, my own voice to more bass, like because I'm I'm a ah. I'm a lady, ma. So I want to choose it more bass. Mm. I want to be more cool and sexy, maybe. <laughs> so what can Your I do? Your voice is very sexy. Thank enough. you okay. so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, we, we have a list of about 10 to 11 uh, presets here. Okay. Okay, so... Check, uh, check them out. Uh, yeah, check them out here. Okay, example, you know, uh, Kayla wanted to sound more sexy. More sexy, okay. yes. Uh, you can say, I want to improve my vocal, reduce harshness. Yeah. You know, so that will make you sound more rounded. You know, your vocal sound more mm. rounded, which is... More, more fuller, more yeah. okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. okay, you guys have to try that. Okay, okay so try that on your system. Yes, all right? since uh, you already purchased the X3 device, yeah. why not? Yeah, just go and try. Okay, yeah, so uh, next thing is scout mode. Uh, I think most of you are aware, okay, it's our proprietary technology that helps you win game, okay. Mind this, win wow. game. Okay. Why? Because why? especially in uh, FPS and, uh, you know, uh, Royal Battle Cup scenario, mm you are actually going around trying to, you know, uh, uh, kill a lot of enemies, right? Yes. So the, it also happened the other way. Your enemy also trying to kill you. So they will yeah. be hiding around, you know. And they don't show the knowing. map, you know, when you are like yes. going to the final stage. <coughs> they don't show you the map. Exactly. They, they just want you to hear the footstep and then, you know, faster. Yeah. No, the thing is, even, even if they show yeah. you the map, you yeah. might not have the time, yeah, the, correct, you know, the, the afford the, that, that time to go and look another map and then see where you're going and then at the same time trying to prevent uh, yourself from being killed. Yes. Right. So you rely heavily on audio cues. Right. Yes. So audio okay. cues are things like, you know, even your footstep, you know, whether they are coming from the back or the left or the right, you know, or far away, right? Or even a door opening kind of sound, like, yeah. mm, you know? Yeah. So, you know, in, in a game, you don't always find doors everywhere, right? So you roughly will know that, you know, the door should be somewhere there. And then if you hear the door mm, sound, you know, somewhere is, somewhere is there. Somewhere is coming right? already. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So that's the, the good thing about uh, scout mode, right? Of course, uh, you know, we also understand that uh, the gameplay is important to you, right? So we actually provide you a hotkey to activate the scout mode. The scout Instead mode. of coming to the app, you know, yeah, when you're playing games, you, you cannot afford to, you know, go open another app and then try, hey, where is my scout mode? And then I'm going to turn it, right? By the time yes. you find it, you're dead already. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? I need to hear so the, the footstep. Well, how, 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 yeah. I want to on now. Okay, so... Hotkey. Okay. okay. So this is how you can enable hotkey. You know, a combination of shift, control, alternate, ah, plus other key combination. Yes. Okay. So while play games, you just need to do that. Mm. You know. So you just have to on the scout mode yes. and then just just make the hotkey from your keyboard. That's all right. Yeah. Ah. In fact, you don't even have to on it. The moment you define a hotkey, you press. It will be on. It will be on. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. So encoder next. Um, Okay, some I think someone asked a question about uh, how do we uh, take advantage of the Dolby audio uh, yes. encoding, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so the Sound Blaster X3 actually allow us to encode any audio stream and then send it out as a Dolby audio format mm. to a receiver, external receiver, for example. Because some of the user here may have an AV receiver somewhere, you know, especially in your living room or in your in a bigger uh, manhole study room, right? So we actually can encode any audio stream 
into a multi-channel audio, send it out, and then the receiver side decode the signal, play back through your own multi-channel speakers. All right. So, and furthermore, this technology allow us to even encode the SBX effects. Oh. Right. Yeah. Oh. So you can actually so you can actually turn on the SBX and, and then encode then, oh, and then send wow, it out. Wow, okay, In fact, okay. that is one of the main reason why uh, a lot of our user use the Dolby Audio. Oh, that's yeah. very good. I think you can right, set because your over profile, here you can you, select how much yeah. uh, surround you want. You know how much bass you want. You know. Is something not available in a lot of other products. Mm. Right? Okay. So these are tips yep. for you as well. Yeah. Very so, interesting uh, tips. Mixer, I think I'll just skip. All right. Uh, it is quite straightforward. Yeah. But oh, uh, I'm very interested in what you hear. I'm so sorry. Uh, I want, I want okay. to ask this question. <laughs> yeah. What you hear. I almost forgot. This is another <laughs> important feature yes. on some blaster cards. Yes. All right. Um, what you hear is like what you say. Okay. Basically, you play back whatever things, whatever contents, yeah. so that you can listen to it, right? But what if somebody else want to hear what you are hearing? Okay, so oh, okay. what you can do is you can do a recording from what you hear and then stream it out, you know, to your audience. And then this is what I hear. Right. Mm. So like what like in the demo of uh, audio balance just now, you know, I, I actually play two different streams, right? Yeah. So uh, one from uh, YouTube and another one from uh, uh, music, right? So you mm. can hear both, right? So in actual fact, I'm actually using what you hear recording mm. in the Zoom, right? Otherwise, if you don't use what you hear, it's only you hear on your local system, but the rest will not be able to hear it. Yes. yes, which is very important. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are in a conference call and you decide yeah, to do don't the don't turn on what you hear when you're on a conference call yes. because your boss will know that you're listening to something yes. else. So okay. you couldn't, but if you're doing like live streaming uh, content, you yeah. want to make some, yes. change some recording and then you know, you, you want to make something together, right, right. then what you hear is what you need to turn on. Correct. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it's also, uh, yeah, it's also mm. a good feature, you know, if you want to demo certain things, you know, to let people hear what you're hearing. That's why it's called what you hear. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, okay, so we are back to uh, the last two. Uh, okay, I want to touch on to this. Uh, this is actually a sign-in locking screen. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So other than showing how old you are, I think... Uh, Francis, Mr. Car Blaster <laughs> is 20 years old. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay but, but the, the more important thing yes, is... Uh, why do they need to sign? Yes, okay. I believe uh, every one of you have uh, an creative.com account, yeah. uh, especially when you purchase online from us, mm. right? Yes, uh, I believe we, they, we do they have do promotions, have. you know, when you yeah. when you sign in and purchase using your creative.com account, all right? And uh, people register the products also, right? Yes. So in the past... Um, you know, when, when, when you want to register a product, you go to the website, you need to prepare your proof of purchase, you need to take the box or, you know, the, yeah. the invoice. And I need to the register the number And all that, and the product model. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of paperwork. Yes. Right? And um, registering a product on the product page is always a hassle in that mm. sense. All right. So what we offer here is actually on the product page, Okay. you can actually choose to register a product right from the software. Oh, okay. Right. So, there's a, our whole range of products. You can choose products. a range of products yes, that you want to register. Creative, yes. Okay. All you need to do is key the serial number, okay, date of purchase and the country of purchase. Mm. All right. So, someone will ask me where to get the serial number, right? We'll come to that later. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and on top of that, Whatever product that you have registered previously with creative.com will be listed here. Ah, so you have a list of all the products that you have purchased together. You don't right. need to go and find the different invoices, different yes. product itself. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as you can see from here, I registered my X3, okay, uh, purchased last year when it first came out. Mm. It's already out of warranty. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, hopefully it's still working. It is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But you can always, I think it's advisable that you can always register. Because you know nowadays, right, we always lose our invoices and all that. Yes. Soft copy is always better. So that's Correct. why we have uh, this function added in for you to keep track of all your products, like uh, information. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's it, you know. Um, we are actually planning a lot more interactive stuff mm. here. Okay, mm -hmm. I can't tell you now. Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, stay tuned, you know, keep your software updated, you know. Yes. Uh, you may get surprises, okay. Okay, always update your software, your firmware, yes. your driver, all these things, okay. You just have to update yeah. them. Alright, yeah. So if you have any question, uh, if you don't mind, you can just uh, if you are shy, just drop <laughs> your drop drop your question in the chat. If not, you can actually open up your your vo voice actually uh on your on your mic and then just speak to us. Okay, we'll just answer them directly. Mm. And we already have one question here. May I uh request uh request Francis right yeah. to answer <laughs> this question from Paul? May I know what mic is suitable for X three? Okay. Um. <laughs> Actually, it's quite a interesting and at the same time tricky question. Oh, okay. Right? Uh, why? Because because all might is suitable. All might, <laughs> right. Right. Okay. <laughs> but at the same time, all might comes in different forms and different technology. Ah. Right. Okay. So, uh, I probably can't give you a direct answer, but like I like uh, what Kayla mentioned. Okay. Yes. It should work with most of the might that you can find out there. Right. Okay. Uh, even a mic like uh, XLR mic, for example, you know, if you if you have a mic that requires a, ah, uh, okay. So, it only support three point five mm. Yes, right. So in the case of let's say if you have an XLR connector mic, okay, you will need to find a converter, right? Yeah. So of course, uh, if you have an XLR convert uh, mic. Changes are uh, this might uh, requires a uh, phantom power, right? Which you have to supply it separately, right? And normally, uh, this kind of mic will come with a uh, XLR to three by five mm or quarter inch, uh, connect uh, converter also. Mm. So as long as uh, you provide the mic with necessary power, uh, especially in the case of a uh, phantom power mic, it will still work with X3, right? And uh, in fact, uh. Many of our reviewers commented that the uh, mic input on the X3 are really good because it actually go through a special uh, analog digital converter. Okay, that is a pretty high resolution. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, we have another question. CPU Z lah. I thought that is a software. <laughs> 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 no, like, I think because everybody okay. really want to know more yeah. about X3 here, right? So they, they very... Uh, okay, now uh, let, me, let me try to answer CPU Zilla first. Uh, why is Dolby Digital Live not supported in Mac OS? Uh, it's a question that we have been asking Dolby also. <laughs> okay, uh, because uh, when Dolby uh, come out with the Dolby Digital Live uh, uh, so-called uh, format, Okay, uh, they only make it available on Windows platform. All right, so uh, that kind of uh, left out the Mac people. Uh, we do hope that uh, they can support uh, Mac in future. Okay, uh, it is something that actually, uh, I, I would not want to say that, but I have to say it because it's something that is really beyond our control because uh, we, do, we don't own that part of the technology. Mm. You know, it's, it's actually licensed from uh, Adobe, yeah. Okay, but we do we do feedback to them, you know, if yeah. uh, there are enough, uh, you know, requests, right? They can open up to to Mac itself, lah, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's up to them, lah. Mm, but we, yeah. we can always try to feedback, you know. Okay, so that will be for the question, and there is more. Mm, from... oh, there are a lot of people asking, ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay, during recording, <laughs> is it need to use direct mode? Uh, not necessary. What kind okay. of recording uh, what, what, are, are you referring uh, to? Is it like a, a conference well, call or like a uh, live not, streaming? Not, I, I, well, I don't think that is what mm. uh, Paul is asking. Mm -hmm. He's probably doing some form of uh, yeah digital audio workstation uh, kind of stuff. Okay. So uh, some studio kind of uh, recording. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Yeah. So not necessary that you must use direct mode. Okay, in fact, direct mode is actually meant for the playback. Okay, uh, Sinli ask, 
can scout mode, mode work with PS4? Uh, the short answer is the scout mode works only on PC and uh, Mac in this case. Ah, okay. uh, because it's, it's actually through the software. Yeah. Okay, if you want scout mode on PS4, uh, you should be looking at products like uh, G6. Oh, we have other products yes. that can work with PS4. Okay, or even the, the more expensive uh, X7 mm. you know, uh, or the earlier G5. Yeah. It's all under uh, creative. You can actually, yes. actually look on, just look on our yeah, website. Just look up from our website. Yeah, yeah. so can you repeat what are the, the products that works with PS4 for scout mode? Uh, okay, basically, um, those products that we primarily position them as a PS4 support mm. uh, will have all this scout mode and uh, SBX mm. at the hardware level. Uh, right. So basically the G series. Uh, the G series, okay. G4, uh, not G4, G5, G6, yeah. Right. And the earlier on the X7, uh, even the E5, mm. okay, all have. Okay. Ah, so finally, someone asked the most important question <laughs> of the day. Is PS5 supported? PS5. Wow, everybody <laughs> is raving about PS5. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Before I answer this question, may, uh, I'm not sure whether can, uh, do we have some form of interactive here? Can someone, can we ask them, ask our audience to raise their hand or something like that? Uh, okay, I just want to uh, have a few of, how many, how many of you here are going to buy or have already purchased or already got the PS5? I think you can press, uh, just reaction. indicate. Reaction. Oh, yeah. yeah, just react to us. Ah, two, two of I them mean? raise hand. Uh, where do I say? Here. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes. So two. So, oh, I'm more than two, I believe. I think so. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, now, uh, answers. Answer now. <laughs> Very excited about this question. <laughs> okay, the good news is, our initial testing on the PS5 shows that all our product works. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Let, me, let me say a okay. caveat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because we, we only had a very short session on, on that testing session. Uh, and also, uh, we didn't run through a lot of full tests, uh, which we are actually running now. Mm. Uh, we got a full set of PS5 now in-house. Yeah. Uh, our guys are testing it. Okay. All right. Uh, but initial test shows that uh, all the sound blasters should work. Mm. Okay. Uh, the G5, G6, uh, even the new X3, the new G3 works. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, bad news is we still don't know yet. <laughs> we still don't know <laughs> any bad news. So, take it as good news for now. All right. Okay. So... I think yeah. we have answered the question. Like, actually, PS5, yeah. um, for in in initial testing, it works. La. Because, you know, as you know, PS5, they just release only. We need time to do more yes. testing to give you a more yeah. confirmed answer. But for now, we have tested at least one, so it works. Okay? That's um, an answer for you. Okay? Uh, mm. Mean WP, yes. Alright, yep. next question. Okay, Justin asks, how can the X3 improve my conference call audio? Okay, uh... Let me try and... Oh yeah, we did talk about that. Yeah, we, we mentioned the, about that. Maybe he missed that part. Under the recording for a uh, recording uh, function in yes. Sound Blaster command software. Yes. Okay, let us share with you. Yeah, you okay, can I'll just see. take just over. just see you now again and show you on Sound Blaster command software. How can you adjust um, your audio uh, when you are doing conference call? Okay. Okay. Now, this is the page where you can actually make improvement to your conference call audio. All right, uh, especially these two functions, the noise reduction and the mic EQ. Oh, you need right. to tick them, okay? Yeah, and of course, when you take the mic EQ, uh, you can actually choose uh, the presets that you prefer. Okay, so like I said earlier, try it out yourself because uh, these testing are, are actually taken reference from uh, those mics that we have that we think uh, are applicable to most users, but you may mm. have a mic with a slightly different characteristics. All right, so play around with it. Yes. Okay, oh, it won't kill the product, don't worry. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we have answered Justin's question. Yep. So there let me another just. another one. So for DD Live. Mm-hmm. 
the setup instructions says to connect my audio system to X3 via speedy out, but X3 output don't have speedy's outlay. <laughs> How to find speedy's out? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> right. Like, uh, okay, now let me. Out. Yeah. Uh, I, let me stop sharing. Okay, and uh, turn on my video. Yes, turn on. Okay, now. Okay, speedy out is also called the optical out. So this is the part <coughs> that output the optical. Oh, okay. hold on, uh. yeah. let us see clearly. So this is the one. Optical right. out is speedy out. Yeah, we label it uh. optical because uh, it is an optical connector. Oh, right? okay. But the signal that comes out of it is actually a speedy signal. Carry oh, over okay. the optical. Uh -huh. Yeah, so speedy is equal to optical in, in, in the X-ray. In fact, in a lot of our sound blaster products. All right. Ah, oh. uh, okay. Yeah, so Jason has a, a question as well. So he's using a uh, Creative Sex 5 Air um, with the X-ray, but it's not listed under the X-ray Sex 5 headphone. Mm. Uh, meaning, Okay, <clears throat> actually, Sex5 Air is already Super X5 enabled. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, although technically you you can actually uh, you know connect uh, the X3 to the Sex5 Air, okay, but in actual fact you can just use a Sex5 Air as it is because it's, it's the same technology, right? Yeah, so that that is one of the reason why the Sex5 Air is not included in the headphone profile because the the headphone profiles included in the list are actually the mostly the non sex uh, products. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. We have, we do have a few more questions. Is that right? I think so. Uh, I think the question keep coming in. Yes, we are still open for <laughs> questions. Maybe five, five more minutes. Then. Yeah. So, don't be shy, just drop us your question. We can uh, quickly answer them in this uh, the next five minutes. Okay, so there's another question as well saying that um, Ernest, when I already have a Super X5 product, can I use it with X3? Uh, technically, you can, all right. Uh, it, the only thing that you need to be aware is uh, you, if you have a Super X5 based product and you want to connect to a product like X3 that also have a Super X5, remember to turn on uh, Super X5 on one of them, or rather turn off so that you don't end up over process, right? Mm. Yep. Understand. Um, there's one question saying that if I have a pair of stereo speaker, how is the best connection to get the best audio? Cause behind X3 got so many 5.1, 7.1 speaker ports. Ah. So I think, <laughs> I think we need to show the, the ports. Okay. Or what, like, uh, okay, I'll know? just take this one and show. Huh? Yeah. Right, let, me, let me turn on my video. It's uh, on already. Yeah. Oh, I don't see it here. Yeah. Okay, if you look at the X3 connectors, there are four outputs here, right? Okay. In fact, you just need to connect the pair of uh, speakers to the front. Okay. Uh, so just ignore the, the side, the rear and the center side. Right. Okay. Okay. So, and also optical output can route audio to another yeah. optical input? Yes. Yes. Uh, that's the purpose actually. Oh, that's the purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I and think I saw someone ask another question. We right? have one like, I have both AE9 and X3 for my computer. Actually, what's the use case between these two? AE9 you have AE9 and X3 for and your X3. computer. Yeah. Uh, so my question is, why did you buy the AE9, then after that you buy the X3? <laughs> you must have something in mind, right? Yeah, but, okay, uh, but you want to know what's the use case for between these uh -huh. two? Maybe you just explain one okay. by one. Like, yeah. uh, let me, let me uh, try to differentiate the two, all right? Okay. 
The A9 is actually an internal sound card. Right? Yeah. In fact, it is actually our most high-end sound card ever. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, so it is designed to be able to use in many scenarios mm. like uh, music, listening, movies on your desktop computers, mm. and even gaming. Oh, right. Okay. So it's actually a, a super high-end set already. All right. Uh, so the only so-called uh, disadvantage with A9 is that it's uh, internal and you have to use it with a desktop computer, mm, right? Yeah. But A9 do come with the ACM module, the audio control module, you know, where you can control a lot of inputs there, all right? The X3, on the other hand, is actually more for external use, right? Which yeah. is uh, meant to support uh, PC, Mac, and also consoles, mm. in a sense, mm -hmm. right? And X3 has Super X5 that uh, is not available on the AE9. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So I guess uh, uh, Mr. Young probably bought <coughs> the AE9, you know, for probably high-end music listening and X3 for general use, I believe. Mm. Yeah, and especially uh, probably Super X5. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so okay. actually Mr. Young said that he bought AE9, then he wanted Super X5. So... Oh, well, Super X5 go to A9 actually. <laughs> ah, okay. This is a question that. Uh... Okay, let me have a show of hands. How many of you will want Super X5 on our internal sound card? Raise hand. Wow, wow, wow. How many? Do, do we see a lot? I see three at least, and Paul, Paul is very excited. He said, me. <laughs> okay. So, oh, four, four. Wow, four, okay. Four so, we have four out of 26. Yes. Well. That's quite, that's quite a lot already. About, okay. About now, the, the reason uh, why AE9 do not have Super X5 is because uh, when, when we start the AE9 development, uh, the Super X5 technology uh, wasn't mature then. Okay, it's still under uh, development. Mm. And uh, actually, if some of you has been following the A9 uh, launch, you know, we actually delayed the product for more than uh, six months, something like that. Mm. Okay, because we, we want to make sure, you know, the product comes out with in tip top condition with the best audio quality that it can be. Mm. All right, so yeah. So when we developed the A9, uh, the Super XY technology wasn't available then, you know, to, to be productized as a product. So uh, that, that is why I ask, you know, if there are a lot of requests to have uh, our internal sound card to have a uh, Super X5, please raise your hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, very right immediate. We yeah. will consider. Your yeah, hand raising very fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, okay, five, five of them. <laughs> okay, let me put a teaser. Uh. Okay. <laughs> What if you have an external AE9 with Super X5? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Any any hand raise here? There is still, there is still. There also is four. Yeah. Wow. Still okay. Ready. How many? Uh, how many of you have uh, owned the X7? X7. Yeah. X7 used to be our high, highest end external, which is the ah. external version of the, mm. the previous high end internal sound card that is uh, called the ZXR, mm. right? So today we have a, a much higher end AE9 on the internal, right? So uh, yeah, I, I can't say much, okay, but uh, yeah. <laughs> You, we, we are always you, working. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we, we always try our best to um, continue our research la, and you know, provide you the best audio quality product. So let us give us some time to always work on this, la, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We have, I think we can go through the, the last question of the day. Okay, let's is, have a last question. Uh, from SY, SY. Uh, do I pronounce as CC? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, sorry, no offense. Okay. <laughs> okay. Does X3 have its own speaker? Uh, answer is no because it's designed to work with uh, most speaker that you can find out there. All right. Uh, what is wool buying a microphone? One, oh. one, two, 
can I do conference with X3? Yes, I think uh, uh, SYSY came in a bit late. That's why uh, oh, without, she without. probably did not. Uh, yeah, without. Oh. Okay. Oh, so he yeah. bought the X3, but or he or she bought the X3, but did not buy. Uh, yeah, Microsoft it's supposed to work with yeah. any kind of uh, uh, active uh, powered speakers. All right. So you can pair it with our our creative speakers also go to our creative.com website, uh, you know. Oh no, uh, he mentioned that he didn't buy, he bought the X3, but he didn't buy the ah, microphone. Can he okay. conference with X3? Oh, without the microphone, yeah. uh, no, unfortunately, you know, X3 is actually a sound uh, audio products, you know, so you still need the input devices like an external microphone. Right. Oh, but you can just uh, use. But like, what you can do is you can use. Uh, you know your normal wire earphone. You already yeah, has microphone, right? Yeah. You can just plug it uh, in. Let me. Okay. Yeah. You can use a product like this. Okay, it's a. Just like early version of Avana Trio that we have. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know this this guy has a mic input. You know, with a four ball jack. Okay, you can just connect it in. All right. Yes. So in fact, any kind of uh, uh, in-ear headset, you know, even the one that comes with your mobile phones, you can yes. use it. Yeah, yeah. those wired ones. Okay, but uh, uh, we, we, I mean, we need to be realistic with the mic quality then, mm. all right? Uh, it's, it's not going to be better than an external mic, you know? I think it's okay though. Yeah. You want to use for, he or she yeah. want to use for conference call. I think it yeah. should be still okay. Right. Should be still okay. Yeah. Yep. So, okay, uh, really last question. Uh, uh, not not a question, but a feedback. Okay. Uh, yeah. let me ask the last question. Last question. Last question. Uh, do you guys update yes. your firmware and software? <laughs> okay. We just released uh X three firmware uh not too long ago, and we are actually working on another new firmware coming up soon. All right. So uh, I just want to know how many of you really update your firmware. Okay, and how do you do the if somebody say how to get the sound blaster sticker, I'll get Mr. Sound Blaster to share with you. <laughs> how to get the sticker? Wow. They really, they really okay. need the sticker. I like this sticker also. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh leave your contact with us. We'll try to uh find some to uh, go around if we manage to. All right. Uh, just contact our moderator or host. All right. <laughs> yeah. So this is the you know the good thing about joining a creative uh, workshop. You know. Yes. Yeah. So this is one of the goodies. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, we, <laughs> Actually, we are it looks happy nice. that you yeah. like the speaker. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Someone say via the sound blast, uh, sound blaster command law, correct lah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I just want to uh make sure you know you know you guys know where to find the latest somewhere because. Uh, today, all our Sound Blaster products, firmware are actually downloadable from the Sound Blaster command mm. app yes. itself. All right, yes. maybe I, I just do a just the last sharing. How can you always update? Yeah. And then we will be ending off the workshop soon. Yeah, but so let me just turn this last off. because we want you to always uh, fully unleash the, the, the usage of X3. So, how can you update yeah. your software? Your okay, software? so this is the part where you download the latest firmware, latest software, latest driver. Under the setting, right? Yes, then under setting, device. device. Okay, yeah. So normally, if there's a new firmware that we release, mm. okay, when you launch the Sound Blaster command, a dialog box will pop up, you know, informing you that's that alert. there's a new uh, firmware available, mm. where they want to continue download and, and, and update the firmware and things like that. So it's, okay. it's pretty intuitive. Okay. okay, so because in the past, you know, our Sound Blaster user had to go through the hassle of going to our product support page, mm. uh, try to look for the particular uh, uh, firmware, the particular software, download, and then install one after another. So there, there is a lot of hassle, mm. right? So today, uh, you can do this all within the Sound Blaster command software. Yes. All right. Okay, yeah. remember to always uh, update them. And I think we'll be ending off the day. Great. So we want to say, um, have a good Saturday morning, going to be afternoon soon, but we hope you enjoy the day and, you know, continue to 
you know, stay tuned and then you know, keep us out, keep a look us, uh, keep a look out yes. on creative. Okay, so we will try to always uh. Uh, communicate and engage with you soon. Yeah. Okay. Do give us feedback on uh, this session, you know, how you feel about it. Uh, do you like the format or yeah. you want to suggest uh, us to talk on certain subjects of interest? Okay, let us know so that we can improve uh, in our next run. All right. Okay. Uh, we're not sure which run yet or if you want, uh, you can suggest a product of your interest, you know, so we can get the relevant uh, expert to come in. Uh, doesn't, <laughs> always, <sound> blaster. <laughs> doesn't always have to be sound blaster. Okay? Yes. We have a lot of products out there, mm. right? Okay, have a good morning. Okay, uh, enjoy your Saturday. You. And bye-bye. Bye.